Hi everyone, so this is going to be a flawless face routine. Um, it's not going to be, you know, there's going to be no eyeshadow involved, no eyeliner, mascara, nothing on my lips, my eyebrows. This is nothing except for how I do my face usually every day. And I think most of the products are pretty drugstore, I think, except for one. So you can stay tuned for that one. And I know there's a glare right over here. Yep, see that? I'm moving it around. Uh-huh, yep. There's nothing I can do about it. This is the only place where I can actually film in my house. And I guess the time of day it is the way, you know, the lights are reflecting into my windows. It's, I'm stuck like this. And if it gets in the way of my face, I'm sorry. This is what I'm stuck with. Bear with me. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so this is my face. I'm not the world's biggest fan of it. But my boyfriend likes it, so I think it's okay. Um, oh, no, I just did my hair back because, you know, I got to start somewhere. So, yeah, here it goes. Um, before I actually do anything, before I do anything, I will always, always, always put on some sort of a lip balm. And I guess today it's just the Lip Smackers Red Velvet one. Came in a packaged package of a bunch of different cu uh, cupcake flavored ones. It tastes really good. Or should I say smells? I feel like it would taste good, but I don't eat my chapstick. It smells really good. Alright. So then I'm taking my Hard Candy Sheer Envy Primer, and yes, I know there's a glare working with it. I'm just going to shake that up because I know that it's just going to sit, that if I don't, it's going to kind of settle, and there's more of a solid part than a liquidy part to this. I'm just going to take this, apply it, like, you need only a little like that. That little bit of my hand is way too much. I'm just going to put it. All over my face. And there comes the glare again. Oh, I can't win today. Alright, then I'm taking my Physician's Formula, just, it's their green concealer. I don't know. Just putting that where I tend to go red, which we have a few um, blemishes here. I get really red around my nose. Now my mouth, a few up here, and the reason you put the green on is because green covers red. Got some redness over here. Look like a monster, <laughs> but you take that and you rub it in, and you kind of blend it. Because it looks crazy now, but you're offsetting the red in your skin. And yes, I know there's 10 million different brushes for this. I use my fingers. Oh well. Now, I feel like with a lot of products, sometimes your fingers really actually are your best tools. Just because they do warm up the product and you get it to blend a little more. So you can see I got a whole mess of green going on. Minus the glare. There we go. Glare free, but non dark. Whatever. Then I'm taking my Hard Candy Glamouflage heavy duty concealer and I'm taking a little and I mean a little of this I'm putting it on the back of my hand like that that little bit right there yeah that's gonna be about all I'm gonna need for my face find that underneath or I feel like I need a little more extra concealing the thing about this product is it's really really creamy and thick. So like I can put it under my eyes because I don't really have any uh, lines underneath my eyes. And I do have some bags so they aren't really too bad but the problem with this is that just because I'm 18 some people who are you know older who have you know some fine lines get some wrinkles going on under their eyes you know they can't wear it because it's thick and it will settle. But overall it's really really amazing. I love this stuff. It's really comparable to the Kat Von D Tattoo Primer. I mean, Tattoo um, Concealer. So it's really nice. And I use this and I use this nice shadow base too. I'm not going to do my eyeshadow in this video. But I figured, you know, I still have the product on my hand. I'll do it. Alright, so you still see some of the green, but now it's kind of masked by the concealer. 
Then I'm going to take my Revlon Nearly Naked Face Makeup, the foundation. I'm in the shade 110 Ivory. I'm going to take some of that and put it on the back of my hand. Whoa, that's a lot of foundation. That's a lot. Ooh, it's running. All right, and I'm going to basically stipple it on and kind of rub and swirl it in with my e.l.f. Professional Powder Brush. This was $3 at Target. You don't have to use it for powder, but I like it. See, and this will give you nice, full coverage, and I like the bristles. It kind of blends everything in. I don't, and it's also, I find that the different way, there are different ways you can apply your foundation to make it different coverages. Because I've been able to get really sheer foundations to go on, um, like foundations that really should be labeled like sheer or like just a tinted moisturizer, I've gotten them to go on pretty, I don't know, like a light to medium coverage. One, get, sorry, get my nose. You always want to work when you're putting on your foundation. You want to work from the center of your face, move outwards. Blend that in my hairline. I don't know, I feel like I want to get a beauty blender or the Sonia Kashuk version of it. If I don't have money and I really like this brush, I'm going to blend it down into my jaw. All right, now my biggest pet peeve, I don't know if y'all have noticed, but I have my nose pierced. Right there, that little thing. And my biggest pet peeve is when people think, oh, I don't want to get, you know, makeup on my jewelry. So I'm just going to not put anything on my nose. No. I'm going to get yelled at for this by people, but I take my ring out. My jewelry. It's not a ring, it's a stud. And I put it on. Or if I don't feel like taking my jewelry out, I'll get some on my finger and I'll pat it around. See, and then your jewelry right there, that little thing? Yeah, makeup free. There we go. I'm just going through my finger. There's not much that I'm doing. I'm just kind of blending out any lines that may have been created by the brush not being able to reach anywhere. That's usually right around my eyes. Not my nose. And my thing is because I'm very expressive with my face, I have to, usually have to wait for my foundation to kind of sit a little because I don't use a setting powder. But because I'm very expressive, I get I do have I'm starting to get smile lines, but I don't mind them. I, it's not that I think they're pretty. I feel like it's you know you know if someone's smiling, if they smile a lot, if they use their smile, if they have smile lines. So, but I get little lines right here, and my forehead wrinkles a lot. I'm very expressive. So usually wait. That's why I'm not as expressive right now. Just kind of let this dry on a little bit. I don't use powder because my face is really, really dry. Alright, then I am taking my I have my brushes. Alright, now I'm going to take my Hard Candy Fox in a Box Boxed Blush in Smooth Talker. It's kind of like the mauve brownie taupey one. And if you look inside, it contains a peach, almost like a pale pinky, a, I don't want to say salmon-y, but a definite pink, and a lilac-y color. And what it does is when you mix them all together, it is the, this is the exact, exact, exact duplicate for benefits, cosmetics, um, Sugar bomb, exact. Creates a really warm glow. I'm just taking an angled brush and I'm smoothing those all together. Tap off the excess. I'm applying it to my cheeks.
gives you a nice warm glow. This is one of my favorite blushes ever. I absolutely love it. And I love the texture. This isn't too chalky or too hard like I feel a lot of drugstore blushes are. This is actually very, very comparable to the Benefit one. Alright, then I have that. And then, of course, there are some things that can't be duplicated. Like my Benefit Hula. I know it says it's a bronzing powder. I can't use it as a bronzer. I know so few people who can. However, because it's so matte, it is an absolutely perfect contouring powder. I mean, look at that. It is absolutely beautiful. I know you can't tell because of the camera quality, but it's not muddy at all whatsoever. It's very warm and just really pretty. It doesn't feel orangey or muddy. I'm, taking that, I'm putting it on the hollows of my cheeks, so right underneath where I applied my blush. It looks like a stripe. That's okay. We're going to blend it out. And what that does is it creates a shadow so you're sculpting your cheekbones. Right. I'm taking it, sculpt other parts of my face, putting a little on the inside, on the bridges of my nose, the side, that in my temples. I'm across my hairline. I actually blend a little bit in my underneath my chin, just kind of get rid of some of the fluff that everyone has, some more than others. I'm taking a big fluffy brush like this, I'm just blending everything out in big circular motions. I really wish that glare wasn't there, but there's not much I can do about it. Alright, there's that. And then I'm almost finished. I am just going to take my Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer. Only this is not a real bronzer. This is more of a highlight. It's in the shade 743A, Reserve Your Cabana. It looks like this. There's very little shimmer. It's a champagne-y, beige -y color. And I'm just taking a little of that on my finger. Let's see that color. I'm applying that as a highlight on the abs on top of my blush, above my blush, not on top of it. Down my nose, creates more of a straighter nose. In my cupid's bow. On the outer parts of my forehead. And what that's going to create is just a little more definition. It's going to really bring out everything. Where there is darkness, there also needs to be lightness. As an opposite. Now, when you want to look at your contouring on your cheeks, you want to almost think as it as like a, I forget what it's called, but like those cute, those uh, coconut bars, like the candy ones with the stripes. And one's vanilla, one's strawberry, one's chocolate. That's how you want to look at it. You have your vanilla highlight, your uh, strawberry blush, in your chocolate conceal in your chocolate contouring powder. And that's how I do my face. Again, this is not anything. I'm not doing any eyeshadows. I'm not doing any um, lips. I'm not doing anything. This is just how I do my face. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, you know, shoot me a message, leave me a comment, you know, thumbs up, thumbs down. Just let me know if you'd like to see anything or want any tutorials on anything. That's absolutely great. Um, again, I'm sorry for the really crappy lighting. I have a day off. I'm not in school today, and unfortunately with this time of the day, this is what I have to put up with. Sorry. Toodles. <laughs>